Good evening, teacher. Hi there, Xiomara. Good evening. How are you doing today? I'm uh, exhausted. Very exhausted. Exhausted. <laughs> you worked today a lot. Very, yes, was very busy today. Okay, I believe so. Okay, but soon you will be sleeping as a baby. What time do you get up in the next morning? I get up every day at 15 to, to 5. Ah, 15 to 5. Yes. Okay, pretty early, pretty early. Yes. And from from where you live, is it far where you work? Uh, no, I get up uh, that time because of my, my son uh, to prepare for the school. Ah, okay. You take your son to the school and then you go to work. No, I come back to home and I leave uh, at nine or at ten. It depends on the schedule I have, but uh, normally I have a schedule to to eleven from ten p.m. from seven p.m. Ah, okay, all right. Okay, how do you uh, get back to your house? Uh, by car, by bus, by taxi, by Uber, but Uber motorcycle? <laughs> my dad is, is um, my dad uh, pick me, pick me up to home. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Okay, remember, sometimes we forget, but that's normal. We forget to conjugate the verb when using the third person. My dad picks, uh, picks me up. Yes, that's sad. not a problem. It's not a it's big good. problem. You have the structure already. All right. You know already what you need is uh, just a little bit of more practice on that detail. Okay. Third person, yes. letter S, ES. Or I E S, but that's fine. I understood. That's the important part. It happens uh, for some verbs only. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, that's true. Sometimes I I forget. Uh, when it's a present verb, I for forget to use the S. Ah, for phrasal verbs, do you have that? Yes. yes. All right. Okay. Picks me up. All right. Yeah, okay, but it's a matter of practice. That's it. Good. Yes. <laughs> the Maris Barahona, the lady that had a, a pharmacy in the past, and now she owns a bakery. <laughs> <laughs> the last night. You last night, okay. told me that I have a bakery, but not is. Uh, how do you say verdad? No, it's not true. No, it's not. It's true. I have a pharmacy. But how are you today, teacher? I, I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Uh, and you? How are you doing? I all, always busy. Busy. Always. Yes. Busy. It's more difficult when you run your business. Yes, it, very difficult. I. Hi. Yeah, it's true. Run a business means manage, manage a business. This is like informal. I run a bakery, for example. You can say, I run a bakery, I run a bank. It means that you you have the control, you manage your business in order. Yes. All right, pretty cool. The control. Yes, you run your business. Yeah, it's difficult when you have your business, but that's great as well. It's great. Okay. A and your classmates. <laughs> I don't What's know. Going I on don't with say. your classmates. Okay, let's begin already because time goes fast. Let's see. Uh, you see the computer? 
Yes. Okay, perfect. Welcome to class number 11. Tomorrow is going to be class number 12. We complete the third week. And that's great. We complete, we finish week number three. So the next one is the final week of the course, pre-advanced module one. Okay, uh, let's see, Xiomara, help me with the topic and the sentence, please. Is the past perfect? I have been reading a lot of in the last days. Cool, thanks. I have been reading a lot the last days. Okay, remember that reading is pretty cool. Question for you. Have you have you used the past perfect in any opportunity? Have you studied this tense before? Yes, yes. but a little. Uh, a little. Uh, when? Uh, when the last month when I was studying in academia. Ah, okay. I All right. studied this answer. This topic. Okay, good. This topic. Carla Elena, welcome, and Francisco, Isaac, welcome, guys. We are just uh, beginning, no problem. We just read the topic, the past perfect, and the sentence. I have been reading a lot in these days. Okay, tonight we are going to learn about this. Do we really use the past perfect? Do we really need it? What do you think? Yes, no. Sometimes, but we forgot to use it in Spanish too. In Spanish, uh, an example in Spanish, yeah. because when uh, I, I worked uh, from 2016. I uh, sometimes I say I work I I have worked from from twenty sixty. But okay. I'm working so I have I need to say I have been working from twenty sixty. Ah uh, okay. All right, that's your Good, you have the idea, but you are using present perfect. Okay, I have been working since 2004, for example, right? I have been working, but that is a press, that is a, the perfect progressive, and this is different. The past yeah. perfect, don't worry. Yeah, we are gonna study this. Okay, uh, yes, uh, please, Amaris, help me out with this part. What? Yes, somebody's, somebody's. Can you read the it? Microphone is... Yeah, the microphone is muted. What's, what's the past perfect? What's, what's the past perfect? Correct. Explanation, Carla. Carla Elena, what is the explanation about the past perfect? We use past perfect when talking about a past even before the past okay check uh when talking about a past event something that happened in the past but before the past was that was that how is that before the past a past before the past ah okay let's see uh, this chart represents the yes. The past, uh, we are in present. present. Today, we are in the present, but tomorrow will be in the future. In the future, yes. But the past perfect, it is used when talking about the past. About the past only, yes. About the past, not the present not 
the future, only the past. Let's check. Okay. Uh, this is a circle. This is a circle that represents the past event. The past event. Okay. So the circle it is in the past. In the past. Correct. It is in the past. Correct. Then I have the second figure. What is this figure? A square. Okay, this is a square. And this represents the situation before the past. Okay. Where do I place it? Before or after the simple past? Before the simple past. It is before, correct. It goes all the time before. Check. Simple past, but the past perfect is backwards, va para atrás, all right? Backwards, past perfect. Clear, clear on this, on this first part? Clear? Yes. Yes? Okay, the explanation tells you, a past event, where do I have the past event in the simple past? but before the past, past perfect. Okay, let's see. Example, uh, Francisco, the example, please. Francisco, maybe Hector, Hector. Yes, teacher. I came back home because I had forgotten my way, my wallet. All right. Okay. Uh, guys, what is this sentence? I came back home. What is that tense? Simple past. Correct. Simple past. I came back because the verb is came. Come, present, came, simple past. And what is the other part? I had forgotten my wallet. I have, correct, the past perfect. Present perfect. No, past. this is past, past perfect, past, past, past. Yeah, sorry. No problem, no problem. Yeah, sometimes we confuse. It happened to me. Yeah, I was confused. It's present perfect, past perfect. What is that? Okay, but we are going to explain. Okay, yes, I have two tenses in the same sentence. All right. How? How to form the past perfect? How do I form it? In the affirmative, I need to use. Subject plus have plus, plus have, verb. Plus verb in? Participle. In the participle. Teacher, what is the participle? I'm going to explain in a few minutes. Maybe you remember the participle. Finally, I need, complement. I need a complement, yes, to complement the idea. All right. Let's see the example. The example says. Read it, please. Can you read it? Yeah, anyone? Any of you? You can read it. I... I have left my keys on the table. I have left my keys on the table. Thank you, Aga. Let's see. Uh, if you translate it, what would it be the translation of this sentence? Ideas? If you translate it, how is this translated? Ideas? At least uh, one. He dejado mis llaves sobre la, sobre la mesa. He dejado mis llaves sobre la mesa. Ah, but when you say, he dejado mis llaves, this is, this is the one. I have... Teacher, you, do you want a translator in Spanish? Ah, uh -huh, correct. He dejado mis llaves sobre la mesa. Uh, he dejado, but... Había, había. 
Había dejado mi llave sobre la mesa. Ah, correct. It's not I have. Is past simple. Past perfect. Past Sorry. perfect. Is past perfect. Yes. Había dejado. Ajá. Había dejado mis llaves sobre la mesa. Había past. It is past. When you say have, I have left. Cuando dice I have left, he dejado. That is present perfect. But in this case, had is for the past perfect. And what is a have? What is a have? Have is the auxiliary to form the tense. This grammatical tense. Okay? Remember, is not have, is have. Have, have. As, an, uh, as the verb that is, that is, um, like, for example, verb to be, or the verb have in the present perfect. But in the past perfect, is have. Yes? Clear? Yes. Is a have. Okay, we are going to practice. Don't worry. All right. What's the participle of a verb? Who remembers? What is the participle of a verb? What's that? Okay. The first column says participle of regular verbs. Uh, mention one regular verb. Only one. Mention one, but regular. Regular. Once. What? 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 Want. Want. Ah, okay. I heard what. <laughs> okay, want. Okay, yeah. Want is a, a regular verb. What is the simple past? Want to. Correct. Want it. Uh -huh, correct. And what is the participle of want? Want it also. Want it. It is the same. Correct. No problem with, with the regular. All right, pretty good. Check. Verb. Play. Play. Simple past. Played. Played. Past participle. Played. Played. The same. The same simple past. Easy. That's easy. But what we need to be careful with, it is about the participle of irregular verbs. Irregular. Yeah, with the regulars, this does not apply. It is not the same. Example, uh, mention one irregular verb. Run. Can you repeat it? Run. Run. Yes. Run. Okay. Simple past. Run. Run. Participle? Run. Run. Ah, but in this opportunity, is the same in the present. Uh, try another one that changes in the three forms. Forget. Ah, forget. All right. Simple present, forget. Simple past? Forgot. Forgot. Participle? Forgot. Forgot, correct. No, it's forgotten. It's different. It's uh, just let me show you. I'm going to minimize this. Forget. N normal. Present. Past. Forgot. Participle. For forgotten. It's different. And that is the participle of irregular verbs. They are different. They are different. So we have to learn them and practice with those verbs. Example. Eat. Eat. Eaten. Eaten. Okay. Eat. Eat. Eaten. That's it. Okay. Let's open. This is, mm, I'm going to change this link because it's not correct. We are gonna open this first link. 
Okay, uh, just uh, let me open. Mm -hmm. Just let me find the correct. In this website, guys, this website is pretty cool. You can practice a lot of things in this website. Check grammar exercises. We are gonna look for, check participles, participles constructions. Past participle exercise, uh, -da -da -da, I'm gonna look for. Put the verbs in brackets as past participle into the gap. Into the gaps. Example. Politicians. What is the verb? In past. Shock. In, shocked. In, in participle. Ah, uh, shocked. Ah, okay. See? It's shocked. shocked. For but why ed? Because it's regular. The difference is regular or irregular. Okay. This one. Watched. Uh, the parent. Huh? The one that is in parentheses is the verb. Repaired. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. What? The, the, the verb. What? The verb in participle. Repaired. Repaired. Correct. Repaired. In the word. Watches. Watches. Correct. Repaired watches. Relojes que? Preparados. Correct. Preparados. Next, participle. Stall. Stall. Computers. Computers. Okay. Number three, guys. Le falta la e. Stall. Le falta la e in English. Stall. The eh, e is missed. Ah, missing. Letter E is a missing teacher. All right, okay. Stole. Like that? Fascinated. Ah, okay. Uh, pass. Fascinated. Pants. Pants. Okay. This is the participle, yes. Four. Guys. Hey, Hector, uh -huh. Hector, Gabriel. Bored is bored. Bored, like that? Yeah. Okay, bored. A student. A student. All right. Uh, number five, participle. Confused. Confused. Uh -huh. Confused. Boys. 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 Correct. Uh, next, number six. Forgotten. Forgotten. Umbrellas. Umbrellas. That happened to me in a bus. Me too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pretty often. That's it. Umbrellas. All right. Next. Disappointed girls. Uh, the participle of disappoint. Disappointed girls. Disappointed. Disappointed girls. Oh, that's pretty sad. Yes. Number eight. Swapped. Swap. Okay, but how do I make the participle of swap? EV at the end. Okay, swapped. Comics. Comics. Okay. Number nine. Worried. Worried. Yeah, that's right. Worried. Doctors. Doctors. And finally. Amused queens. Uh, amused. Uh, like this. Yes. Queens. Queens. All right, pretty good. Let's click and check so we can 
review if they are right or not. Okay, let's check. -da 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 -da. What? What happened? Repair the watches. Ah, but correct. this is correct. This is correct. You answer the zero tax out of it. No, but they are correct. Ah, repaired watches. Yeah, it is correct. Repaired is correct. Next. Ah, you, is, you, you said it's told. What is the participle of his of his steel? Stolen. It's stolen letter N was missing. That was the problem. Okay. Next, this is correct. Fascinated. Aha, uh -huh, that, that was correct. 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 Ah, okay, check. Double P. Double P. Double P and add? ED. 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 Why is that, teacher? When you have a verb, consonant, vowel consonant, double, double the consonant. consonant, and then add ED. That's a rule, a regular rule, regular verb for the past, or in this case, the um, participle. Correct, incorrect. Okay, maybe you did only those two incorrect, but the program says, no, it's not true. You did eight out of 10. Okay, pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, coming back to this exercise, we are gonna do this online practice. The purpose is the purpose is that you form the sentence reordering each word, but remember you can have past perfect only or combined with with simple past. Uh, Xiomara, you begin. Form um... the sentence please. Okay, um, the... Uh -huh, correct. The sand, sand castle. The sand castle. Ah, okay. It doesn't go in this place. It ah. is another word. The storm. Ah, oh, no. Uh -huh, correct, yes. The storm. Have destroyed. Have, uh, ah, okay, it doesn't go. Have. Mm. The storm destroyed. Okay, yeah. The sand castle. Correct. We had that we had. Built. That we have, have built. built. What is the meaning of the sentence? That's in Spanish. Uh -huh. La tormenta destruyó el castillo de arena que nosotros habíamos construido. Correct. That is the meaning. Every time that you use have is past perfect. Habíamos... Uh, habíamos ido, habíamos movido, etc., etc., etc. Next, uh, Damaris. Do number two, please. My, my mom? My mom. It's not mom. It should be a What? different subject. Which one? My mom? No. Uh, when you have a correct order, the word turns in color. When it doesn't, it is not my, yet. My brother or my mom? Ah, my brother, yes. Yeah. My brother. Uh -huh. My 
Eight. No. Eh, eight. Eight. Correct. Okay. Correct. Eight. Mm, all. All oh. that cake. All. The cake. Uh, all the cake. All. All that. No. All no, that. Of. All that. All of. No. All. All. All, all of. All of. That. Cake. No. It's not that. The. 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 Uh -huh. Cake. The cake. That. Mm -hmm. That may. That made. Ah, uh, not yet. That mom. That mom. Our mom. Our. Yeah. Ah, correct. Our mom. mom has made. Has made. Meaning. Uh, mi madre, mi hermano, ah. comió todo el pastel que no. What is our? ¿Qué es our? What is our? Nuestra. ¿Qué nuestra? ¿Qué nuestra mamá? Mamá. Había hecho. Había hecho, correct. My brother ate all of the cake. Mi hermano se comió todo el cake. Que nuestra mamá había hecho. Correct. Okay. Sometimes you can have the past perfect at the beginning or at the end. Okay. Hector, number three. Okay, teacher. Uh, the movie. Hmm? Start. It started. It started. No. The movie uh, had started. All right. The movie had started when when we arrived at the cinema. When we arrived at the cinema. At the cinema. Correct. Okay. Very good. That's it. Next, uh, let's see, Carla. I have a little search ah. in my cell phone. Ah, okay. After. After. She began. Not correct yet. After she is correct. Next, what she, is the next? She eat. Eat. No, eat and eat. <laughs> eat. Ah, uh, no. She began eating. After she be, began eating, not yet. No. Got. Can you give some help to Carla? She after she had. After she had eaten. After she had eaten. Correct. Carla? She began to feel sick. Ah, okay. After she had eaten. Después. De que. De que ya. Ella ha comido. De haber comido. Había. Ella... Remember. Had is había in Spanish. Ajá. Había. Después de que ella había comido, she comenzó a sentirse enferma. Correct. She began to feel sick. That's it. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, Chomara. Or Ada. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Work, teacher. work, working team. <laughs> teacher. Yes. The word teacher. Ah, okay. Place it at the beginning. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. 
Have um, alcohol, right? Have been, have uh -huh. been. Ah, why been? Because oh. after the. Uh huh. After have studied this. Ah, no, I N G after have. After have, have I need a participle, yes. All right, don't forget. I don't forget. Teacher a lot. Studied a lot. For? For? A good teacher, but for. the letter D is missing. Yeah, it was missing, correct. It is a, a spelling mistake. Yes, that's it, but the sentence is correct, pretty good. Uh, Ada, yes. This is longer, teacher. Why me? <laughs> okay. Francisco, maybe. Ada, Carla, Francisco, Gabriel. Carla, Alicia, Damaris. What's the order? Uh huh. I hear you. I hear you. Come on, come on. We have forgotten. We have no. In this case, is not have been the first sentence. We were. We were. Ah, uh, we uh, the verb to be. Ah, uh, correct. Verb to be. We were have forgotten. We were forgotten. Estuvimos olvidado. No, we were had the passport. Not yet. Not in the current order yet. Late four. Ah, okay, late, late four. Ah, correct. We were late four. Because? Uh, no. Let's see the chat. Ah, okay. For for plane. Plane. Yeah. Plane. Yeah. Plane. Correct. Plane. Carla. Because. Have forgotten. Have forgotten. Because. Have forgotten. We have. Our passport. We. We have. We have forgotten. Our passport. Our passport. Our. Okay. That was the order. Correct. We were late for, that's it. Okay, nice. Number seven, Yomara, your turn. I'm sorry, the dog is bothering me. Ah, okay, no problem. You have next to me, the, my dog. <laughs> your puppy, <laughs> okay. Yomara, hey, what is order in this sentence? Uh, I... That's it. Have danced. Okay. With my crush. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Before some month. Uh, but the, this thing. Um, before some month. Some, uh, some months before. After cross, what is the word? After cross, your cross. My cross, some months before. All right. Okay, that's the one. Correct. That's it. Okay, very good. Uh, next, Hector. Any. Any. Any party? Any, any party? Mm, no. Any have? Have? Uh, no. Any and Amy? Our, let's see. Any, ah, okay, we have two subjects. Correct. Any and Amy? Uh, have meet each? Have meet each meet 
سمعت مبروك حد حد باري مات ايج حد باري باري لتسي نوت نوت ايج نوت جايز Yes, this is for negative. We are practicing affirmative sentences. But in this one, you see that is negative, have not. Tomorrow we are gonna practice com the complete structure for negative sentences. Have not. Uh, what is next? Continue. Meet each. Meet each. Meet. But I don't see the word meet in this case met h met correct is met met each hmm? the other, other part before other met each other the party before the the party before no before the party before, before the party yes. Sorry. before the party yes okay very good check any any amy has not met each other before the party okay good they met after the party that is in contrast okay next she has he Uh, eating? No, no eating. Not, not eating. Ah, oh, correct. Negative. Not eating. Not eating. Pizza before. Pizza mm. before. Really? Oh, okay. Okay, that's it. And finally, we have this one. Next, next, next. You, you were nervous. You were. No, it's not where. You have. You have. That's it. You have. Very nervous. You have not studied. You not have. Okay, you have not studied. Were you? No. No, no, no. It doesn't change the no. color. For? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. For? For the test? For, correct, for the test. You have not studied for the test. <laughs> really? So you were very nervous. Correct. So you were very nervous. Okay, pretty good. Nice, nice job, guys. Nice job. Okay, that is how you form affirmative uh, sentences in the past, past perfect. Okay, pretty cool. Nice, nice, nice. What do you think? Difficult or or easy or medium? Medium. Kind of medium. Kind of easy, kind of medium. Okay, pretty good. Let's see. I'm going to open the second link, but I guess that is the same one. Yes. It is not the correct one. I don't know why they are not different. Because I pasted different links. Okay, but no problem. No problem with that. Okay, next. And in this part, check. Have you practiced with those links before, guys? Question. Have you practiced with these links at any time or opportunity? Have you practiced with them? No. <clears throat> Why not? Okay, maybe I should not continue pasting exercises for you in the presentation. Guys, the idea is that you practice a little bit before going to the platform so you can have 
a better idea about the exercises. Please make them, make them. They are cool. Past perfect sentences, exercise. Uh, the indication, please, can you read it, uh, Damaris? Task. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, N O. Uh, number. Number. Uh, forty two, five one. Forty two, five one. But in in complete complete uh, the number with with a correct quantity. Four thousand. Four thousand. Two hundred. Two hundred. Fifty one. 51. Yeah, more difficult, yes, no problem. 42, 51. Hmm? Put in the verb in brackets into the gap and four sentence in past perfect. Use contractual form only when there are personal pronouns. Okay. Show example. 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 Before Stephen did his homework, he. Okay, the verb in brackets or in parentheses is. To study. To study. We need to convert it into the past perfect. So the answer is this one. Before Stephen. Did his homework? He had a study at the library. Library, that's it. All right. Okay, pretty good. Let's see, Hector, begin with uh, number one. Okay, teacher. She had lived. All right. Yeah. In in Sweden before she went to Norway. Norway. Okay, guys. I check this. The indication says use contracted forms only when there are personal pronouns. Can I make a contraction of she had? Can I make it yes or no? Yes. Yes. How? She she is she is uh, uh, let's see the chat. Ah uh, correct, yes, yes, Yomara, yes, Carla. I can make the contraction placing the the apostrophe and the letter D and then the participle. Okay, only when you see personal pronouns, correct. Okay, very good. Let's see, Francisco, number two. Francisco? After we do it, uh, not remember the bear in the past. Uh, the verb in brackets, uh, we, we don't need the simple past. Mm -mm, no. No. Uh, yeah. What yeah. do we need? For the past perfect, we need the? Ah, participle. The participle, yes. The participle okay. of the verbs, correct. Not the simple past, it's the participle. So, the participle of it is so, uh, after we to eat mm, to eat the conflicts henry came Come. in Come. ah but the i need the participle of the verb to eat to eat is the infinity guys ah, okay, okay. yes thank you okay guys what is what is the correct form after we have eaten. Okay. The cornflakes Henry came in. Came in. All right. Yes, this is the one. Remember, I need have because have is the auxiliary. The, the auxiliary, correct. 
plus the, plus the participle of the verb. And the complement, any complement. Okay, let's see. Uh, double T in Eden. Uh, no, Carla, Eden has one T only. One T, not two. Only one. Yes, only one T. Okay, number three. Before. Before okay. Ken, mm -hmm. before Ken ran to Kenry's house, he had, he had found. Contraction, can you use it? He, in this he, he found him. He uh, found him. him. Ah, before can can run to Carrie's house, not to Barbie's house, to Carrie's. Ah, okay. Kenny huh. is being unfaithful to Barbie. Ken is being unfaithful. Está siendo unfaithful in TL to Barbie because it says Carrie's. Carrie's house. What happened there, teacher? Yeah, <laughs> see? Uh -huh, okay. He the he phoned him. It phone him. Okay, that's the one. Uh, four. Let's see, number four. Can you make it, Ada? Or maybe Damaris? After they. What is the meaning? Pack. Uh, pack, uh, for example. Um, Let's see, pack, definition of pack. To save things in a box or in a pack. Uh, okay. Oh, you can see when you when you wrap, when you wrap, when you cover things using maybe a towel. Empacar. Empacar. Yes, correct. Or you when you put things in something, correct. As your After mother. they uh -huh. should pack it. After they to pack it. Okay. Ah, but Carla is right. It's typing that the answer is had packed. What's correct? To pack or had packed? Had packed. Had packed. Ah, okay. It doesn't exist to. In the past perfect, two is for the infinitive. In the present perfect, in the present normal, normal tense. So I don't need two. I need had. Had. Yeah, because had is auxiliary. For the past perfect, correct? Five. Uh, this is a weird name, Gary. Gary. Continue, guys. Gary. Gary had. Gary had to run in uh -huh. the house because his father had, had told. told him. Had told him so. Told him so. Oh, okay. Gary ayudó a su abuela en la casa porque su papá. Le había dicho. Se lo había dicho. Que ayudara. Okay. Told him so. So means uh, it's like told him so. Que le ayudara. Yes. That's it. Okay. Very good. The cat. The cat hid under the chair because the children had loud and sorry because the children were loud where 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 to be where to be in past perfect <laughs> let's check the rules -da 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 -da. affirmative <laughs> subject auxiliary verb participle plus complement 
I don't see the word to be in the simple past. So hardware, hardware, no. Hardware, but why where? Why where? Check. In the affirmative, for the past perfect, I need subject plus a have that is the auxiliary plus the verb that must be the participle. Be in, teacher. Be in. Have been. Have been. <laughs> ah, have. My mind was in blank, teacher. So. Ah, don't worry. That happens. Okay, only a small confusion. But remember, to form the past perfect, I need the participle of the verb. So what is the participle of to be? Be. 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 Correct. That's it. Have been? So, yeah, Carla, you were right. Been. Okay, pretty good. Uh, seven. Before. Before the students. Continue, guys. We are about to finish. Don't worry. Anyone? Yes? Only one. Only one more. One more. This one. Before the student started to write, the teacher I can see another part. Uh, the teacher had collect. Had collect. Had collect. But when you say collect, you are collected. Had uh, collected. Collected. Ah, yeah, correct. Guys, when you are using regular verbs, you need to pronounce the ED with the correct pronunciation. In this one, in this part, we have ED, ID, sorry, ID, T, and pronunciation D for the regular verbs. Collected goes with pronunciation ID. That's right. Had collected their, their mobile phones. Their mobile phones. That's it. Okay, pretty good. Okay, two minutes to finish. The last one. After Max. After Max. How to finish it? To finish his breakfast. Have finished. Finish. Ah, uh, yeah. Remember, we don't need to. The verb is in participle. I don't need this. I don't need it. No necesito to. For the past perfect. Only the participle of finish. That is. Be... How do you pronounce it? Finish it. Finish it. Finish it? No. Finish. Finish it. Not finish it. Mm -mm. With T at the end. Finish. Finish. Correct. Finished. Like this. Finish. Finished. With T at the end. Correct. T at the end. That's it. All right. Finished. His. His, his breakfast, breakfast, the left, the flat. He left the flat. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's click on check in order to see how you did these ones. Ah, okay, pretty good. Nice, nice. Number one, correct with the contraction. Number two, correct. Da, da, da. All of them are correct. Okay, pretty good. Okay, guys, pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Good, good job. Pretty good. Okay. That was the past perfect in affirmative. Tomorrow, we are going to practice in the negative, in questions, in the short answers, and when you have questions about them. Okay. Pretty good. Nice, nice. Nice job. Guys, thank you for joining. Have a wonderful night. Rest 
a lot, have sweet dreams, and wish you a wonderful day tomorrow. All right. Thank you guys for joining. See you. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Tomorrow, teacher. Until tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow, last day of class. Bye bye.